What's up Tech Gang, Stefan here from TechRide. Today I'm going to be showing you how to screenshot on your LG Stylo 6 in 5 different ways. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hope you're having a blessed day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to screenshot 5 different ways. Um, obviously we have the easiest way, which we're going to start off with the first one, just jumping into here. First and easiest way to screenshot is actually just holding down the power button and holding down the volume down rocker. So we're gonna hold those down at the same exact time. Three, two, one, go. Let it go. And it's gonna give you a screenshot, an option to use the pen on it, uh, option to save it, and to delete it. So that's what happens with a regular screenshot. Now there are some people who actually have keys that are broken on their phone, um, and they don't actually have the physical keys to take the screenshot, and I have a solution for that. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go into settings. So go into settings right here. Next thing you're gonna wanna type in is assistant. And I think this is something everyone should pay attention to if you have the LG Stylo 6 because you never know when you get caught up in a rut and you never know when you're gonna need this. Um, but this is Touch Assistant. Um, it says assistive features for people with difficulties using keys and gestures. So if you don't really know how to use gestures or keys or the keys on your Stylo 6 or any other device you're using um, doesn't work, then you can utilize this. So what we're gonna wanna do is turn that on. Click turn on. And you're gonna get this little guy right here. This is gonna be like your little on-screen assistant. You can put it in the corner, you can watch videos with it on. Um, if it really annoys you too much, you can just go to the settings, turn it off whenever you need to use it. So let's go ahead and click on this. Now, as you guys see, we have the volume up and down control. We also have power and we have home, um, but we also have screenshot right here. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. So click on screenshot. It's going to then take a screenshot and obviously you can edit and save it and that's the second win and i feel like this was a very important thing to show you guys because if you guys get you know stuck in a situation where you have to use a silo six and the physical keys don't work then you can always rely on that touch assistant so the next way i'm going to be showing you how to screenshot is very basic as well just go to the drop down bar menu and you're going to go ahead and click on screenshot it's gonna go ahead and click a screenshot, same as usual. You can mark it up, delete, share, or save. And that is the third way to screenshot. Fourth way is a little bit different. Um, obviously we have an article right here. Um, what you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is do the same thing you did before, but we're gonna go ahead and hold it, take our screenshot, and then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and press this down arrow. Now once you do that, it's going to be taking screenshots of the entire article that you were reading. And it will save it for you. And you can draw on it. But you're going to want to go ahead and click that check right there. And as you guys see in gallery, we're going to have the whole screenshot right here. The great thing about this as well is it gives you the option to go back to the prior website you're on. So if you want to go back to The Verge, just for an example, you can go ahead and click on the screen visit website and it automatically finds the website and the exact article you're reading. So this is a very, very great tool to utilize if you guys want to save notes or take information down. And the last way to screenshot is obviously going to the drop down bar menu. We're gonna go ahead and click on screenshot right there and click on the down arrow. It's gonna go ahead and take a screenshot this is basically just using the on-screen controls rather than the hardware on this device. As you guys see, it's just taking a screenshot, capturing everything. And if you want to tap to stop at any time, obviously just click tap to stop. And it saves your screenshot. Super cool. You can go ahead and share, draw on it, forward it to somebody. You can go ahead and save that. And that is how you perform a screenshot in five different ways on the LG Stylo 6. I hope this video was useful to you guys. Um, hopefully it made your life a little bit easier, especially in these hard times. But yeah, hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, definitely consider subscribing as well as clicking the notification bell to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, Tech Gang.